Well, in case you've missed it, we have a solar eclipse coming up and there'll be a total solar eclipse for some of us here. So what is it exactly? Well, the moon gets just in the perfect spot in between the sun and earth to cast a shadow. And in this case, it will be a total solar eclipse for parts of the northern hemisphere and specifically parts of the lower 48. So let's talk about where that path of totality is. You can see that coming over Texas into Arkansas, Kentucky and through the Ohio Valley this upcoming Monday on April 8th. The biggest problem, go figure, could be weather-wise. So I've plotted on here, this is cloud coverage on that day, along with where that path of totality will be. And unfortunately, as we push this forward from 11 o'clock central time through the day, you're going to see there is a lot of cloud presence as our next storm system will be taking shape across the southern plains. So not great viewing across the southern plains through the uh, parts of Arkansas and even the southeast. The Ohio Valley might be your best bet in parts of New England. As for a local approach here in the Birmingham area, we're going to be in that 85 to 90 percent here in much of central Alabama. The start time of this is at 1240, but again, we're going to be contending with cloud cover. It's a partial eclipse for us, and this will likely be the look in the backdrop. Cloud cover. A couple things to note. It maximizes at 2, it ends at 317, and make sure you have reputable glasses. They sell fakes this time of year, go figure, but uh, you can always get them from a reputable source like NASA, and you'll know you can be able to look at them safely. Again, we'll keep you posted on this, but it looks like clouds could spoil this eclipse. The next one, not until 2044.